there was a big flurry of news in the in the ongoing war that is Tommy Vexed versus the Bad Wolves. So last we had heard from Tommy Vexed, he was suing his former manager, Alan Kovac, for various things, royalties, ownership of songs. He wasn't allowed to use certain demos. He claimed he had recorded three albums over the summer. Imagine how fucking terrible those albums must be. Like, imagine a B-Sides record from Tommy Vexed. Like, what doesn't he release? This is like the only way to stop him from putting all his terrible fucking music out. You need the law to hold his mediocrity back. Now, the latest thing, his former record label, Better Noise Music, has now struck back at him and sued him for copyright infringement. So they've accused him of infringing on the label's intellectual property by allegedly posting unreleased recordings and videos related to the Bad Wolves without the, uh, the, the permission of Better Noise Music. They say he is also fucking with the Bad Wolves trademark. Now, what Tommy has done, Tommy who claims he doesn't need the Bad Wolves, he has set up a tour, and the tour, he lists himself as Tommy Vexed and Bad Wolves, but instead of A in bad, it's an at, and in wolves, it's like an eight, and a, like he makes it kind of coded, but if you look quickly at it, it, it looks like it says Tommy Vexed and the Bad Wolves. And of course, Tommy Vexed, despite what his nut-hugging supporters are constantly telling me online, Tommy Vexed was nobody. Before Bad Wolves, his big claim to fame was that he was the short-term replacement for a horribly mediocre frontman in Ivan Moody, and he came in and kept that level of mediocrity right where it needed to be. No need to come in and outshine this piece of shit, Ivan Moody. His army of knob slobbers all loved to tell me about what a big star he was, like he did the Bad Wolves some big favor by fronting them. They've replaced him with some other fucking dude I don't know. He must have similar fans, because they've kicked my ass for say, oh, this dude, I think his name's DL or some shit, D-I, D, D some, I'll just call him D. Oh, D's great. He, he was a backup in the Acacia strain or some bullshit like that. Listen, I don't know who the fucking guy is. I would doubt most people know who the fucking guy is. But if he's even middle of the road, he'll be as good as Tommy Vexed. But Mr. I'm such a big fucking star and everyone who sh should know who the fuck I am, he's planning to go out on tour as Tommy Vexed and the Bad Wolves. So it's obvious that he's trying to fuck with them. He's released some shit online that I guess he's not allowed to. And so his ass is getting sued. And unlike his suit against them, this suit actually has some merit because there are flyers, there were online posts, there was all kinds of shit where he was clearly trying to leverage his past band to, to his current tour, and I could see a fan being confused. First off, if you're a fan of Bad Wolves, odds are you're confused very often. And if you see this fucking poster, and you see Tommy Vexed and the something that looks like Bad Wolves, uh, you probably have low reading comprehension as well. So you're like, oh, Tommy Vexed and the Bad Wolves, I'm going. And I mean, you don't give a fuck. It's the same to you. You're going to show up. He's going to do the zombie cover. It's, it's just as good as seeing it with the Bad Wolves. And the Bad Wolves know that. That's why they can't have him doing that shit and taking their shine. So he, they've sued him and, and they've really got something here. This motherfucker better cease and desist. The Bad Wolves have then gone on the offensive against Tommy Vexed. And this is all in conjunction with the release of their latest uh, single with the new singer. So it would make sense to kind of throw some shots right now while you're looking to get some, uh, some eyes on your new single. So the Bad Wolves put out a statement hyping up their latest release with, uh, with D.L. Laskiewicz on vocals instead of Thomas Vexed. The Bad Wolves statement is as follows. Since Tommy Vex quit Bad Wolves in January... We have all largely stayed silent. We were prioritizing our search for our new singer, making music and focusing on the band's future. We have all put a tremendous amount of heart and soul into Bad Wolves, and we owed it to our fans to make a third <laughs> We owed it to our fans to make a third album that is the band's best yet. We're happy to share 
that we've accomplished that, and we can't wait for you to hear it. That album is called Dear Monsters, and it will be out October 29th. First single called Lifeline is coming out Wednesday, September 8th, so that should be out by now. I'm going to jump forward because I don't give a fuck about all the, the, the plugging. Now, the statement continues. It's unfortunate we must bear witness to Tommy Vex's never-ending temper tantrums on social media filled with fraudulent claims and sad attempts to defame members of our band and our team. The truth is that Tommy was abusive, both emotionally and physically. <laughs> Did he kick the shit out of them or something? I mean, the guy clearly has rage issues. Uh, he allegedly put uh, put his girlfriend in a fucking UFC choke. He probably did the same to these guys. That's just my speculation, but just saying. So they're saying he was an, uh, an abusive boyfriend to them. And uh, the statement continues. We will not stand for our artistic contributions to be diminished. So here are some points that we feel are important to clarify before we move ahead to the next chapter. Now, those points are as follows. 10 of the 13 songs on our first album, Disobey, were musically written and recorded before Tommy ever joined the band. For those of you who have followed Tommy's bullshit, if you listen to him, these fucking guys are just hired dudes. It's all him. He writes everything. They just show up and record shit. Next point. Killing Me Slowly is an example of a song done in collaboration with outside writers. Tommy changed a few lyrics and then publicly claimed to be the mastermind behind the song. That is false, which is why others, including members from the band, are credited on the track. Next point. When we're shooting the video for Better Off This Way, featuring Dorothy, a song co-written by Doc Coyle, John Becklin, and Brandon Sammons, Tommy refused to let any other members be in the video. Then to make matters worse, he illegally leaked it after quitting the band. Bad Wolves is and will remain a creative collective where no one member inside or outside the band holds the keys to the group's success. Now, there's a lot said there. Tommy Vexed had come out and tried to make a point to say that, that on Zombie, that several guys in the band didn't even actually play on the track or whatever. Like it even fucking matters. You didn't write the song, bro. I'm so grossed out every time he tries to take any level of ownership of that song. When he plays it live, he does this whole talk up. And even though he doesn't say like, oh, when I wrote this, he's like, you know, this is a song. Like he starts telling you what the song's all about. Bitch, you don't know. You didn't write this fucking song. So these claims, though, I don't know, but... My opinion based on the shit I've seen Tommy Vex do, this sounds about right. Why would Tommy Vex allow these other writers to get credits and all this shit if it wasn't true? And if you listen to Tommy Vex talk, he does paint it like he's the mastermind. Like basically there's him and then they hired these guys around him. Bad Wolves are almost like, uh, like the monkeys. Metal is in such a weird place right now that if you find anything that works, there is a rush to rip that shit off. In this case, you've got Five Finger Death Punch, which is, you know, super, super, super watered down Pantera. I love Pantera, by the way. This is not dissing them. This is that whole thing where like a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy and you end up with something like Five Finger Death Punch. But the cool thing about Five Finger Death Punch is they appeal to all these fucking idiots uh, who love this really ham-fisted, dumb fuck, non-creative, paint-by-numbers type metal. And so Better Noise Music, Alan Kovac, he went out and he found these guys. He picked them like the fucking monkeys. And he put them together. Tommy Vexed was his chosen singer. And that's the band. It's not like it's not like some real music story where all these guys knew each other. And like, oh, man, in high school, I met this guy or whatever. This is a job. These guys were appointed to their positions. So who gives a fuck? Literally anyone could be swapped out and you're not even going to notice the difference. After all of that, they had a uh, just the other day, they had a big time spar on social media. The Bad Wolves taking the first shot, releasing another statement over their social media, and I quote, desperate people do desperate things. 
Tommy Vexed quit Bad Wolves last January to pursue a solo career. Unfortunately, he quickly realized that nobody cares about him as a solo artist and that he can't make or sell music on his own. The gloves are off, bro. The statement continues. He can't write his own music, so he released an edited version of our first single with his vocals on it, Desperate People Do Desperate Things. He can't sell tickets as a solo artist, so he bills himself as Bad Wolves, Desperate People Do Desperate Things, once again referring to the copyright infringement of using B at D W eight L V three S. You couldn't possibly read it as anything but Bad Wolves because it's gibberish otherwise. The statement continues. He tried to dupe fans into buying a covers record he didn't own, only to be shut down by GoFundMe for fraud. Desperate people do desperate things. But what's most desperate are the mountains of lies Tommy has told since leaving the band. It is clear he has no moral compass and is willing to say and do anything regardless of the truth. Hashtag desperate people do desperate things. Now that is a real fuck you from the bad wolves to have put out a public statement, putting a motherfucker down this hard. This is real beef. This is fight in the street shit. My boy DL, you better be lifting because Tommy vexed looks like he's about to fucking explode. I saw a recent picture of this dude. He's getting like muscular to the point that it looks fucking weird. Uh, it's like when uh, Bane from Batman gets super mad, like he pumps that green shit into his muscles and he gets like, he looks like he's almost gonna fucking blow up. I mean, I don't know if this guy's on the juice or what, but hey bro, calm the fuck down. Now, of course, Tommy Vex, if you think he's gonna take that sort of shit and not come back at these guys, zero chance of that. Okay, so Tommy Vex comes back on his social media and says, and I quote, Make this viral, all caps. Desperate people do desperate things. Imagine a band of hired guns handed a massive record deal because their singer saved another rock star's life from alcoholism. <laughs> Imagine watching him repeatedly rejecting your bad ideas to work with A-list producers to convey a message and a testimony so powerful that it helped heal people. Imagine growing up in poverty and giving away 100% of the highest selling rock song in 16 years to a family that lost their mother. Imagine being ousted, ridiculed, falsely accused, betrayed and abandoned and still carrying on. Imagine having your hard work and blood and sweat stolen by vengeful incompetence and inexcusable greed. Imagine going through all this and still packing up, booking a tour after a global pandemic and selling more tickets than your famous band's headlining shows ever did. Yeah, I'm desperate. Look at this footage. This is my family now. You fucked with me and now you fucked with all of us. Keep my songs. I don't give a fuck. This is riddled with like terrible spelling. Uh, keep my songs. I don't give a fuck. You can never replace the sauce. Everyone now knows you failed. If you weren't so afraid, you'd let me put out my own records and let the best band win. But you can't because of your egos. Go book a headlining tour and show the world your draw. Watch this video because this is mine. And then he's got tons of fucking hashtags and shit like that. This guy, this statement is dripping with such arrogance. You know, when you get an arrogant fuck like this and you just, you kick them right in the nuts, they don't understand. So it has to be somebody else's fault. It couldn't possibly be his. After all, he's the one who gave 100% of the biggest selling record in 16 years to a family who had lost their mother. Who gives a fuck? This isn't like the who's the sweetest boy contest or any shit like that. And to refer to this stupid pop metal bullshit pandering lowbrow trash as a testimony so powerful that it helped heal people, bro.
You seriously? Did you read that? I wonder if he reads these fucking statements and says like, man, maybe I come off as the biggest douchebag ever. I, he clearly doesn't because he puts this out. I mean, I assume whether he uses the bad wolves gimmick or not, he'll he'll go out on the road and we'll see what happens. I don't see how the fuck he's any sort of real draw anywhere. The bad wolves, you could do another shitty cover with your boy DL and get the get the bad wolves over again. They were putting out a covers record. They know that that it's not like they're some real fucking band. What are they? The radio head of metal? I don't fucking think so. Their gimmick is they do covers. This guy, Alan Kovac, went out and hired a bunch of quality metal musicians that he, you could put together. He's like a, you know, like a general manager of a football team. You go out, you hire the guys, you put them together, and you hope it works out. Hope you make the Super Bowl. There's a tremendous market for nostalgia, especially in music right now. And really, it's been this way for a long time because of Spotify. And you, you cross that with the fact that, you know, so if you're listening to something from the 90s, let's say you're a 15 year old kid, you're just getting into rock music or whatever. And you hear, you know, one of these classic metal albums. I mean, like Metallica Black Record, you know, one, one of these big time classic metal albums of the late 80s, early 90s. The production is such that really, it's it's just it sounds just as good as anything that you're going to hear that's new and the actual quality of the product is is way the fuck up there but like the fact that he can't understand why the bad wolves would not want another act touring as bad wolves even if it's spelled differently why would you think that that's going to be acceptable and the answer is that Tommy Vex, his ego is such that he cannot accept that he fucking played himself. And now he's just some fucking dude and he's going to really have to kind of start over. And the problem with that is we all know he's a giant douchebag. At least at the beginning, he had the good luck of nobody having really heard him speak. So when he shows up, you just kind of got to take him at face value and, uh, you know, he's singing for the band, good looking guy, fucking muscular dude. You're like, OK, covered in tats, looks looks like a metal singer to me and you're fine with it. But then, you know, once you've heard Tommy Vex talk and heard the idiocy just pour out of this fucktard's mouth, you can't go back. It's something you can't unsee or unhear, I guess, in this case. And if you want to compare, I mean, in terms of the beef, if this was like a rap battle or like a diss battle, Bad Wolves, bro. It's a knockout. The Bad Wolves laid facts out. Tommy Vexed has been randomly saying shit because nobody has said shit back to him. And if you just let him go, he's just going to keep going and making shit up. Now the Bad Wolves came back and just fucking crushed everything he's been saying over the last few months. And he has nothing to say. And at the end, by saying, hey, keep keep my songs. I don't give a fuck. You can never replace the sauce. I don't look at credits for Bad Wolves songs, so I don't give a shit. I just have to take these guys at their own word because I, I would assume... Unlike Tommy Vex, you wouldn't just say this shit without something to back you up. So if all these songs are credited to other writers on top of Tommy Vexed, I think they can recreate the sauce. I don't think Tommy Vexed had shit to do with the sauce. We're going to see. Because, I mean, from here, if Tommy Vex can just shit out three albums over a summertime, eh, don't worry, buddy. Take another three months off and shit out another four or five records. Shit, take half a year, shit out 18 records of terrible paint by numbers mediocrity and vexed army. I'm sure they'll be very happy and they'll, uh, they'll slurp it all up. <coughs> if GoFundMe shut his shit down for fraud, are they evil too? Is that big tech coming to fuck with Tommy Vexed of all people? Is that cancel culture? when GoFundMe cancels your fucking fundraising because they find it to be completely fraudulent. If I found out that my favorite musician had ripped me off like that and they're like, oh, come to my show, I'd say, go fuck your mom, dude. This guy is the first one to try to call out greed and all that stuff. He's the biggest fucking hypocrite there is. I, I've just seen enough and I don't know, but I'm starting to think Tommy Vex might be a piece of shit. I don't know. What do y'all think? But I guess, you know, we'll see. This this certainly isn't over. 
because the Bad Wolves are going to have this album that Tommy Vex claims he wrote coming out very soon with their new singer. I don't think they'll be any more or less successful because the band was kind of bullshit in the first place and Tommy's, I'm sure, going to press forward with a tour. So I don't know. It's it's definitely going to continue and I'm sure you guys are going to keep sending me shit about it. Info at killrockradio.com. You could get up in my DMs on social media, whatever the fuck you want to do. Send that shit to me and uh, and listen, I'm, I mean, as long as this guy keeps doing funny shit, I'll keep commenting on it. Thank you guys very much. Moving 